Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy 4th of July weekend. Hope you guys are doing great. We're uh, having a little fun family vacation weekend. Uh, a little barbecue, a little water slide. But uh, kept the toy hunts a little simple this week. I did get something from eBay. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and check that out. Got some fun and uh, a nice addition to the collection. All right, guys. So the new piece to the collection today is a little bit older. Um, it is the Armada... And, I'm sorry, the Armada Universe Optimus Prime and the Armada Jetfire. I got this for a pretty good deal on eBay. It's about 90% complete. And the reason I'll say that is because the uh, Jetfire here is, I believe, missing some missiles. I've seen pictures of it where the missiles kind of go on the bottom. Um, but I have the shield. And I do, I believe this is the Minicon. I'm not sure of the name of it at the moment. And then the Optimus Prime is for the most part complete, but it is missing the front grill. And I noticed that it is also missing the uh, smokestacks. But I've already looked them up on eBay. And if you want them, they are still out there and able to obtain. Or you can find a uh, more complete Optimus Prime a little bit on the cheaper side. But the reason I decided to go for this was because as I've finished watching the armada series now and moving on in the uh transformers continuity this was kind of one of my favorite gimmicks of the show and you can actually combine these figures so uh that was kind of why it stood out to me um as an ebay purchase because these two figures are that figure to connect now aside of missing the missiles and a little bit of the optimus prime stuff which i have already sought out and i'm sure i can get if i really want it um it stood out to me because of the combined robot mode and um it did not come with instructions but that wasn't really hard to find i just looked it up online and i happened to find uh I, what is this it says unicron.com and they had an instruction and not hard at all to obtain the instruction if you want you know the actual booklet on paper um i had also looked it up and there was already a gentleman on youtube that had it so not hard to figure out how to combine but um i'm excited that i have it on paper so i can look at it and uh transform it and yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that so i can show you guys what this thing looks like in uh robot mode Alright guys, this is the Armada Jetfire in robot mode. I'm real happy with this. This looks really good. Overall, a pretty white figure. Very clean. Some discoloration. I mean, it happens with these white toys. But uh, still a very clean figure for what I paid for it. Um, I got it for after the uh, seller accepted his offer. I got it for $100 with the Armada Prime as well. But uh, over at Frankenson's this weekend, I seen that a seller wanted just 150 for the Jetfire itself. And mine looked way better than his. And I just couldn't understand his price. But yeah, this is the figure up close. We'll go ahead and spin it around and show you the back. All right, now a close up at the Armada Optimus Prime. Like I said, I am missing that front grill, but I seem to see a lot of these. It seems to be a common piece that gets lost because a lot of the ones I see on eBay um, are missing that. And uh, you send to kind of tend to see them only with those uh, two connecting points, which uh, pop the head out once you connect it in the jet Optimus mode. But another little imperfection, just so you guys see, is one of the arms is a little, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see. There you go. A little bit of repair was done to the arm, but 
I didn't get it for that purpose specifically. I got it to transform it into the robot mode. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that now because that's what this whole video is about. All right, everybody. And now the moment you've been waiting for, I present Jet Optimus, or as some like to say, Jet Convoy. I am very happy with this figure. I'm also real happy with the size. This thing is big, man. But as I described, as I was showing the uh, Jet Fire figure previously, even though this figure is slightly discovered, it is still very clean compared to a lot of the other, um, a lot of the other posts that I had seen on eBay. And the only thing I will say about this is that because it's it's so big, the arms are a little heavy, and maybe it's just a figure that it's kind of loose, but still, nonetheless, I thought it displayed great. So we'll go ahead and do the uh, back of the figure, give you a nice rotation of it, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, now we'll give you a full 360 of the figure. Not too bad. It's kind of kind of a lot going on, so sometimes you can get a little lost, but... Aside from the Optimus Prime only missing really those smokestacks and that front grill, not really noticeable when you have it combined. But I think, man, this is a solid figure. I was really happy. And I don't know what you guys consider vintage, but this is from 2002. So it is definitely a 20-year-old uh, toy. And for it to be in the condition that it is in, I'm, I'm very impressed. All right, just so you can see, it is standing right next to the Legacy Armada Prime. And I'm still a really big fan of this Armada Prime. I think this was a better version, but still, this gimmick is really fun and gives me hopes for the future that maybe they might do something to add to the Legacy Armada Prime. But that's it, guys. That's going to be the new addition to the collection for this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a good 4th of July weekend. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.